going to factor these quadratic expressions using the same style we did in the last two. So the important things is we know that what our a value is, our b value, in this case negative 10, and our c value are. Okay. We're going to find the factors of our a value. Again, it's just 1a and 1a. Okay, there are no other factors. 21, we have a few. Uh, 21 and 1, <coughs> and 3 and 7. Okay, we'll move this over a little. We know that these products we're going to need to add up to our middle term, which is our b, in this case, <coughs> negative 10a. Okay, that negative is going to come into play for us. It's going to be quite important when we go to actually set this all up. So I set up my two columns here. With my two columns, I use my trial and error method. So 1a times 21, 1a times 1, 21a and 1a. Any combination of that going to give me negative 10? No. So we know that first column is definitely not going to work. And if we went across, it would make no difference. So we're going to be working with this. 1a times 3 and 1a times 7. That's going to give us 3a and 7a. Any combination of 3a plus 7a give us negative 10a? Yeah, negative. They both have to be negative. Okay, so this is a little different from our last example. Since both of them have to be negative, that means my second term column, which is the green one I set up here, I want to turn both of those into negative terms. Okay? And then I have to check to make sure this still works. In this case, what's negative 3 times negative 7? Positive 21, so it still works. Okay, but you are actually you will get examples where turning both of those negatives won't work. It'll actually be a different pair. In this case, it worked for us. So what that means now, when we go to put this in our factored form, we're gonna have 1a or just a as the first term in each, and our second terms are gonna be negative 3 and negative 7. Remember, our 1a's were the first terms. And negative 3 and negative 7 were our other terms. So that's the factored form of this. So as you can see, it can be done in one step rather than the 4 or 5 I did in the last time. Now, this question here, same idea. A, C, B. Factors of A are 1x and 1x. What are factors of 5? 1 and 5. Pretty simple for that. Okay? So we're obviously going to be working with those two columns, as long as it's factorable, which we do need to find out. We know the product's got to add up to 4x. So, that's right. We're going to get 1x and 5x. If 1 is a negative term, this addition will work. 5 plus negative 1 will give us 4. So that 1 needs to be a negative term. Which makes sense because in order to make negative 5, one of those terms needs to be positive. So this is a good way to check. Technically, I couldn't have made negative 5 with two positive terms. One of them would have had to be negative. That's what we have in this case. So when we go to put it into a factored form, we get x as the first term in each, and then negative 1 and positive 5. These are our first terms. These are our second terms. <coughs> 